some might think it's just uh, never going to happen to them or I'll learn enough so that when it does happen the simulation won't even matter but you will be put in a situation that you may not be that ready for. Brand new doctors they go right into residency. When they get into the hospital say and they're actually having interaction with patients that's when they start performing these procedures. They graduate and they they get done and then they throw everybody into this setting and they're expected to function like a unit. Doctors don't go to school with nurses and nurses don't have classes with doctors and they've maybe never even assessed a dozen patients yet. Usually we would have to read a review a textbook or they would talk to us in a classroom type setting and then we would kind of role play an actual pretend scenario. We do see septic children occasionally. It was very chaotic. Everybody shouting out orders. You had a mid-level, you had the physician. Everybody, you know, trying ideas on how to save that baby. The baby ended up having a heart defect. There was nothing we could have done to save the baby. And that's where we kind of realized that we need some work here. We do in situ simulations, which basically is, it's a Latin word that means in its original location. So where they actually perform these tasks is where we need to go. Getting all logistics in there, getting the bed, the mannequin, anything from crash carts to CPAP machines to a ventilator. We take all these logistics and figure out the best need for the learners. We can make the mannequins lose pulses, lose breath sounds on one side or bilaterally. It's like a real person. It was so helpful to have the simulation done in the room that we would be potentially res resuscitating a critical child. We actually redesigned our entire trauma two room to make it more kid friendly. Going through the jump simulation, we just decided that we have to change the system. We redesigned the crash cart. Everything is visible, everything is labeled, and everything is right there. It's made a big difference, and I've been in a pediatric code since then, and it went much smoother. Within my first two weeks of starting my third year at OSF, I encountered a code blue situation on my internal medicine rotation, and a gentleman's heart stopped, unfortunately, and I, I did what I was supposed to do. I went into the room and looked around to see if I could help with, and. I felt very, very comfortable in that situation despite the high amount of stress that was involved. The real positive thing that I took away from it was realizing that I would not have even been able to feel that comfortable trying to help save that person's life had I not done that simulation workshop just a few weeks prior. There are some learners that realize, oh, okay, they, they're after the big picture. It's exactly right. We're not looking at the picture with a magnifying glass. We're stepping back and taking a look at the whole frame. Seeing where their heads are at, where they're thinking, what, why they did what they did, that's the value, that's the key. Is we're not there to tell them they're wrong. We're there to alter the perception of what they need to do. And when you alter that, you improve the quality of patient care. Thank you.